Our next series of exercises will be performed to strengthen the core muscles. We'll be using a flat band for the next series of exercises. So let's lie down on your back, take your flat band and wrap the band in the middle of the foot. Hold on to the end of the band. Level one or anybody that has a sensitive spine will bring the knees into the chest and extend the legs out. We're going to inhale, bring the knees in, exhale, extend the legs out. Inhale, extend out. When you bring your legs out, think about bringing the navel towards the spine. For those of you that have stronger abdominals and no back issues, you can start to bring the legs closer to the floor. Inhale, bring the knees in. Exhale, extend the legs, pressing the navel to the spine. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. We're now going to try to activate the obliques on the side of the body. So when we bring the knees in, we're just going to shift our weight slightly to the right hip and extend the legs out. Inhale, slightly shift the weight to the left hip and extend the legs out. So we're just going to go slowly and smoothly from side to side. Those of you who have stronger abdominals can start to bring the legs out further to the side. And we're not going to take the legs too far over so that we can avoid extreme twisting. We're now going to perform a single leg circle. So wrap your band around your right leg, bend the knee on the left leg, hold on to your band with one or two hands, Bring the leg out to the side, cross the midline of the body, and bring it back up. Level one will make the circle very small. Level two, for those who have stronger abdominals, can make a larger circle. And those of you that are doing the exercise at level two should have very, very, very light tension on the band so that the core and the leg is doing most of the work. The hand should be relaxed. Inhale as you start the exercise and exhale as you finish the circle. Let's switch to the other leg. You can do a leg exchange, take one leg in, take the other leg out. Start to circle the leg around. We'll start at level one, which is a very small circle. Inhale and exhale. As you bring the leg into the midline of the body, you're activating the inner leg muscles. Level two can start to go into a larger circle. Always inhale to start and exhale, press your navel to the spine as you complete the circle. Relax the hand and make sure that the leg and the core is doing most of the work. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, and inhale and exhale. Let's now work on strengthening the spine 
gluteals and the back of the leg or the hamstring by doing the bridge. We're going to have our feet hip distance apart and we're going to press the hips off the ground and slowly come back down. And you only want to go up to the point where you are on your shoulders or upper back. Don't go up to the point where you're on your neck. Let's add the arms. We're going to exhale, extend the arms out, and inhale together. Make sure that you're using both legs equally. Push the hips up and slowly come back down to the floor. So you would not want to come up and just drop down. Control yourself as you slowly return to the ground. We'll now turn onto our stomachs to continue to strengthen the spine. Bring both arms in front of you, hold on to your flat band, and for those of you who do have osteoporosis, you should perform this exercise with a pillow under the rib cage for protection. We're going to raise the arms and legs up and back down. Let's add on to this exercise by bringing the arms and legs up, bring the legs and arms apart together and down. Lift up, apart, together, and down. Lift up, apart, together, and down. Last time, up, out, in, and down. Continuing with spine strengthening, let's go on to all fours. For a variation on the bird dog, extend the right arm out with the left leg. We're going to bring the arm and leg up together simultaneously and back down. So this is an excellent exercise for improving your balance and core strength. Try to keep the arm and the leg straight. No bend in the elbow, no bend in the knee. Let's go to the other side. Extend the arm and leg out, opposite arm and opposite leg. Bring them up together and back down. Our next series of exercises will help strengthen the muscles around the hip and help with our hip bone density.